When I started hearing this music we call jazz and started watching Abdullah's concerts and seeing how much self-expression he put into it. What was going on in my head was like, wow, I want to have a little bit of this, whatever this is, <laughs> you know. I was around 15 or 16 when I became really serious about music. Almost serious in an unhealthy way for a high school student. <laughs> But my mom, the thing I'm most thankful for was that she exposed me to so much music. She was playing with people like Abdullah Ibrahim, Basil Kutsir. Something always felt familiar, you know, like I knew this thing already. When I started playing the piano, it was a really fast track to professional playing. I started the instrument from scratch and really, you know, a very obsessive way, practiced all the time. Before I knew it, I was being taken to gigs at night and then going to school the next morning. Although I take myself to gigs now. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mom. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I want to show the relationship between you and this amazing instrument. Okay. The playing process, the longer I do it, is more intellectual process. Every second, there's decisions being made. Even more micro than a second. And people don't realize that about jazz. If you're looking for self-esteem from these things, then that's the mistake. You, know. you can seek acknowledgement from elder musicians, and you know you're doing something right when elder musicians are calling you to work with them. And it takes you back to another time where people would seek elders in that field. I think that's a very beautiful way of learning things. The South African jazz scene is alive and kicking, man. It's young people taking up the instruments, studying. And I don't mean studying at university, I mean checking the music out. Educating yourself is definitely the first step. Is the way to uplift yourself. I wanted to show the intimate relationship that a musician has with his instrument. I wanted them to be really close together. The greatest musicians have gone so deep into music as a whole that they're seeing and hearing things that nobody else can. And then when they tell you about what they're hearing and seeing, it's like, wow, why didn't I hear that? I'm using my freedom to be myself as a person of color in this country and in the world. I am now allowed to do great things. If you're not using that, that's a problem. <laughs> if you're not using that opportunity. Yeah.